Okay, so this is going to be a somewhat quick video about a trick that I discovered on Perplexity AI. And if you use this technique, it's going to force this AI tool to do more research or get more data from the internet before answering your question. Now, this is not the same as the deep research feature. You can still use the regular search mode and it will read more content and hopefully the answers are going to be much more relevant and much better. So before I show you the technique, let me show you one example about a question that I asked to Perplexity. So the question was, give me three major downsides of this product called Insta360 Link. This is basically just a webcam product. Now, according to Perplexity on this thread, uh, the three points are unreliable air tracking performance, and then there is a problem with heat generation. And lastly, there is the issue with software and stability. So that's the three downsides of this product based on this Perplexity research. Now, I send the same message, the same question again, but on a different thread, and now the answer is a bit different. So the first point is still the same. It's still talking about the unreliable tracking performance, which is similar to the first thread. Then on the second point, it says recurring connectivity and stability issues, and that's not something that was that was mentioned on the first thread. And lastly, it says high price point. It is very different than the first thread. So the reason why this answer is different, even though the question was the same, is because it read 67 pages, while the first one only read 19 pages. So the second answer is probably more thorough because it is reading more content on the internet. And therefore, it's safe to assume that the answer is going to be much more relevant and better reflect the content on the internet. And this is not a deep research, this is just a regular search. And it is able to read more pages before giving you the summary of the answer. And here's how you can force publicity to do that. So I'm going to open a new thread. And here, let's say I want to know the price of a house in Hong Kong. So let me just get the median home price in Hong Kong. And OK, I'm going to start before using the technique, just send the message. And I'll create, I will create another thread, but I will show you the prompt or the instruction that will force Perplexity to do more research. Okay, so it is doing some research, and there you go. So this is the answer. And yeah, it is uh, per square meter ranges from this number. So that's the answer. Now, let me do one more research, and I'm going to show you the instruction that you can use. So the question is still the same, median home price in Hong Kong. And then later, I'm going to add this simple instruction. Repeat the search process four times. It could be three times, four times, five times. It's up to you with different related keywords. And you can actually change this with, let's say, different language or different market or different use case. It's up to you depending on the question that you're asking to perplexity. Now, I'm going to send uh, the, the message and you'll see that the search process will happen multiple times. So the previous one only happens once, but this will happen at least four times. So this is the first one. This is the second one. And let me just wait. This is the third one. And there should be another one here. The fourth search. There you go. So four times it is searching the internet. Not just once, it will do more research. And as you can see, the number, the number of resources is more than the first thread. So that's the benefit of using this technique. And there you go. So this is the answer. Honestly, the answer is very similar, but there are some cases where uh, adding more sources will change the way AI giving you the answer. So I think in a lot of cases, this is a very useful technique to get more relevant data or more relevant answer using perfect AI. And as always, uh, this prompt or this instruction will be available in the video description down below. So that's basically one unique trick that you can apply to perplexity to force, to force it to do more research before giving you the answer. So I hope you find this video to be useful and I'll see you on my next video.